right, what's the definition of delicate? Raise your hand. All our students have spent some time in a refugee camp. So some of our students have seen war and never been in a school before. But kids are much more resilient and much more hopeful than adults. Coach Luma founded the Fuji's Academies, the only school system for refugees in the United States. For her, creating a school where displaced children could thrive was very personal. My name is Luma Mofleh. I'm CEO and founder of the Fuji's family. And I'm an immigrant from Jordan. My name is Minnie Driver. I am an actress a singer, and I am an immigrant. I believe nothing is more American than its immigrants. So I'm teaming up with Great Big Story to celebrate those that have come here and left their mark. Oh, come on! I think giving up my citizenship was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm gay. And in Jordan, you can get the death penalty for being gay. And the U.S. allows you to claim asylum. To know that a country you love doesn't want you, that's really hard. Coach Luma moved to the United States in college. She played soccer growing up, so when she met a group of young refugees playing the sport, it reminded her of home. She decided to form a team for them. Their team name was the Fugees. We're reclaiming the word refugee. We want to be proud of it. We don't want it to have the stigma of shame. And it's about finding a common identity for everybody who's had to leave their country. Let's go, Fuji. You got this, November. As Luma grew to love these kids, she soon realized they weren't getting the attention they needed in the public school system. Their parents couldn't help them with their homework because most of them hadn't received a high school education. So they would ask Luma for help. Go, Fuji! I quickly realized that if they've attended public school, those experiences were not positive. I said, you know, if this was my child, what would I do? In 2004, she created a school that catered to the needs of these children, and she named it the Fuji's Academy. Luma recruited most of her students on the soccer field, and soon enough, news of the school spread. The Fuji's Academies represent over 32 different ethnic groups. We can't do bilingual education because we'd have to have over 30 languages represented. The immersion approach works. I think it's actually easier to teach English to people who speak different languages because it's commonality. They're also surrounded by kids that have the same experience, and so they're not going to be made fun of if they don't know the language or if they have an accent. And the Fuji's Academies take great pride in meeting the kids at their grade level, regardless of their age. Can you get out your study guides, please? In our sixth grade class, you'll see us teaching what would typically be taught in a kindergarten first grade classroom. And then by seventh grade, it's third and fourth grade. And then by eighth grade, they're catching up to grade level. Our standard is very high for them because we know what it takes to make it in this country. Luma's priority is to break the cycle of poverty for these families in the United States. We do really talk about the commonality of having to flee your country, and it's very powerful. And what we're going to see with their families and the generations after is going to be incredible. Every year since 2016, over 95% of her seniors graduate with a high school diploma, a first for most of the families in the audience. I think their graduation day is a symbol of America for all our families. In some ways, this might be the American dream. My name is Denha. I was born in Okyan, a refugee camp in Thailand. My name is Hara Hassan. Eventually, we'll be Dr. Hara Hassan. I'm the first in my family to finish elementary school, middle school, high school, and now attend college. I'm the first in my village to make it this far, and I'll keep on going. I think it's a very dangerous narrative to, to feel sorry for refugees because the mere fact that they are here shows how strong they are. In 2018, Luma opened a second school in Columbus, Ohio. But it's Luma's dream to have a school in every refugee resettlement hub in the country. If you create opportunities for them to thrive, I mean, they're going to accomplish the impossible because look at what they've survived. I think that's what a coach does, is like you believe in the ability of that person, that you start believing that these things are possible. <laughs> <laughs>